All right, so picking back up on Braven's head, as you guys can see, this thing looks a lot worse than what it did whenever we even started, right? Thought we're trying to make it look better, but the thing is we have to get all that old clear coat off so that we can basically start over fresh. And when doing so, uh, we exposed that crack that was right here it was a lot worse than what we expected a lot of that gel coat broke out of there and left the freaking carbon fiber exposed which is pretty bad dude because we can't just clear coat over that we are going to be repairing that we do need to wet sand it still and we are going to be giving it a fresh coat of clear coat all in this video hopefully if everything goes as planned starting off i would really like to just get this thing wet sanded finally um and then we'll need to dry it and then we'll move forward with how it is we're going to fix that Alright, so once again, wet sanding's not doing anything, bro. We have a bunch of staining going on inside of this hood um, from like oxidation or whatever. If you guys didn't know, whenever you first buy a carbon fiber hood, they don't come with a clear coat on it. It's just the gel coat that basically is what hardens like the actual fabric of the carbon fiber. Like it's just a gel that's over the top that it, it has a nice shiny appearance like as if it has been clear coated, but it's not man. And to really um, keep these things looking nice for a long time, you need to go and put a clear coat on it. So what it looks like somebody did was they had this hood for a really long time out in the sun, getting sun damage to the gel coat, not to the clear coat. Then they clear coated over that and we had to get through that clear coat so now what I'm doing is I'm fighting, like, you see there's a lot of green and gray, green and gray, green and gray. So what that is, is the actual gel coat itself has sun damage, and I'm trying to get through that. But it's, it's kind of a tricky process because you don't want to go too far to where you're getting into the actual weave of the carbon fiber, you know what I'm saying? Ah, this thing is pretty rough, man. So I have resorted back to using a dry sandpaper. That is a 120 which again is really scary to use on something like this, but if you take your time and just take small layers off. I've went over this twice now with the 120 and I just, I skim over it, you know what I mean? You don't wanna work a lot in one spot. Um, and then I've pressure washed it off, dried it so I can see where I'm at. Um, but right now I actually have it all taped off. I have all the dangerous areas taped off. So for the most part, all the edges and the body line right here, because I'm actually gonna let Braven take over. <laughs> surprise surprise but anyhow yeah you just got to skim over it with 120 and stay like basically the places i have taped those are the places that the sandpaper will dig in really fast and make flat spots so i went ahead and covered those areas so that you won't have to worry about it but if while i am gone if this tape comes off, just keep a mental note of where it is I have it taped, you know what I'm saying? But I'm actually gonna run to the P.O. box right now because I think there might be something there that is gonna help us with what we need to do to this. There's some other stuff there too. What kind of other stuff? Other stuff there is. Yeah, there's always stuff for that. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I'm gonna run to the P.O. box and I'm gonna leave Brave in behind to just kind of keep taking layers off of this thing so hopefully whenever i get back uh can just kind of look it over and maybe start wet sanding i just i really want to get all this staining out dude like but What's the staining which part is staining? do you see this like that is what we want it to look like mm -hmm. see how it's just all gray carbon fiber and it seems like there's like like still another layer bro like i don't know if that's still a coat of clear coat or what but but I mean, you can see like this area right here is all the way down to just gray carbon. Like all these areas that is just like green still, like that's what I want to go. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking like if we can't get it down without damaging the hood, we might end up having to do like a design on it or something. Like a light, like ghosted, like a uh, camouflage. Yeah. You don't know? 
I mean, imagine it, bro. Like we can mask off and leave exposed some camouflaged areas and then just lightly, lightly mist it with like black. And then, um, then peel it and then mask off some other ones and then like lightly mist it with like a, like a brown. And then clear coat the whole thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. All right, well, I'm gonna leave him here to sand, hit the peel box, like I said. this thing until we get all that shit down bro because i really just want to get this thing freaking done i want to get it clear coated today and i think that epoxy resin that we have to use in order to fix this i think it has to dry for 24 hours i don't know i'm gonna have to look it up but yeah i want to at least get the sanding done so we can get that in there as soon as possible as soon as we get the sanding all done then we'll open these packages up from the p.o box gotta do this corner right here but yeah all the green freaking ugliness is all gone hell yeah now it's actually all gray yeah. and carbon fiber <laughs> i ever told you guys that the da is never ending it, it seems like everything that everything for this car bro it turns into a full-blown process like this we thought this was gonna be like no no saturday on friday today. yeah 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 Oh, the, the first day I started on it. I thought I was going to wet sand this thing for 30 minutes and start spraying it. <laughs> all right, so got this thing all sanded, got it all wet sanded and everything. I went through, uh, I think it was 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, and then up to 2,000 grit, man. I just went ahead and got through it because I'm sure you guys are sick and tired of seeing me sanding this damn thing already. So now we can officially move on to repairing this hole that's inside of the the resin. I think I'm gonna try to repair this one as well, if I can. Try to kind of sand this down some and put some new resin there as well. So what we're gonna be repairing this with is this right here. This is actually a two-part resin and hardener. So I believe you just mix this one to one. We'll go over that here in a little bit. But first, we gotta prep this thing. So I'm gonna get this masked off. I'm just gonna mask a square off around it. And then we gotta kind of sand this down some. I'm gonna be using 120 grit sandpaper and I put it on a block so that it's not gonna be dipping down and actually sanding the carbon fiber itself. We wanna try not to damage the carbon fiber weave, you know what I'm saying? We just want to attack that resin that's around it and kind of scuff that up. Got this area all scuffed up now and I went ahead and I wiped it down with just some regular old rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and mask it back off once again and then we'll get our resin mixed up. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix up the resin. Like I said, this is a two part. It's a one to one mix ratio. So you have a hardener and you actually have the resin. So one to one mix ratio means you just mix one part resin, one part hardener. So equal amounts. So what I'm gonna do is actually use my scale with it set on grams. Yeah, I'll say about four grams. 
So there's four grams of resin. Now I need to add four grams of hardener. So zero that out. Four grams of hardener. Now I'm going to use my stick and mix that up. This is my first time using this stuff, but I imagine you probably want to mix it up really well. Before we actually apply it, I'm going to go ahead and double up the tape just to make an even thicker lip, like a barrier. And I'm going to use my air compressor to blow any like potential dust that could be stuck inside of the cracks, you know? You don't want to seal it in there, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and pour this stuff on here. Now we have ourselves a nice little puddle sitting there and I have a glove on. I'm gonna use my finger to just kind of push the stuff down to make sure it's really getting down inside of there, you know what I mean? So now whenever I'm done really pushing it down, I'll just kind of use my finger to spread it around, get it all even. Bang, bang, there it is, bro. That's pretty much it. Figured why not go ahead and try this crack also, see if maybe it gets rid of that. Now with this one, instead of actually pouring some stuff on there, I'm just gonna put my finger down inside of that and just kind of smear some on. Cause we're not really filling anything in other than just like really small cracks, you know what I'm saying? Shoo, what's up man? Look at us over here fixing carbon fiber like we know what we're doing or something. I hope it comes out right. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, now basically we gotta wait hours for that to dry and then, um, and then sand it smooth like the rest of the hood. And then we should be ready for clear coat. Now, after some long consideration, I think we have decided to go ahead and do the stock hood latch. What do you think? Are we doing the stock hood latch? Yeah. Braven, Braven says yes. So we are going to go ahead and try. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I don't think hood pins are ugly. The arrow catch. Like, I don't think that they take away from the look of the car at all. But I do kind of understand where some people are coming from. Like, saw some comments on Facebook. Like... <laughs> Some people are just like, dude, don't put hood pins on that car, you know? Like, I guess, and I was kind of thinking about it, and I guess the DA would look a lot more fresh with just a just a straight carbon fiber hood with no hood pins in it. So I was in, I was looking at his hood, and it does seem pretty stout right here, and it does have a pretty damn stout like aftermarket latch. That, I mean, it looks trustworthy, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, so, um, yeah, we decided to go ahead and do the stock hood latch. So now, uh, he does have the latch and he does have this crossbar in which we're gonna have to paint and clean up and stuff. This, I feel like, really ought to be like zinc coated or something, but I don't, I don't know. I know you can't just like paint this or else it'll just um, chip all the paint off. We do need to get a cable. Um, you need a cable for it, right? The parts DA doesn't have one. Yeah, so even the parts DA didn't have one. I guess it was broken. How long does it take art resin to dry? 24 hours. According to art resin, the art resin epoxy resin cure time is 24 hours. However, you can touch the surface after about eight hours without it feeling sticky. It reaches its full cure at 72 hours. It never fails. It never does fail. <laughs> Never freaking fails, man. All right, with the hood set aside to dry for 24 to 72 freaking hours, um, let's go ahead and open up these damn boxes that we got from the P.O. Box. This one, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. This one, I have absolutely no idea, so what's the knife? So we'll open up the one that I have no idea what it is first. <laughs> Do you people are looking out for us in these damn mosquitoes? <laughs> <laughs> this is sick, bro. It's freaking electric, too. It's a mosquito zapper. Saw the coils. They don't do shit here in Canada. Zapper works wonders, and the candle was added for free shipping. LOL. Keep up the great work. Both of y'all love the vids. <laughs> From Mike, bro. Those coils are actually working pretty damn good, if I'm being honest, but this is endless, right? <laughs> Just plug it in, and I think I have the perfect place we can hang it right up here because there's already plugs probably not permanent placement but you know what it works for now 
Moving on to what is in box number two. Oh my God, there's peanuts. Yo, who sent this? Alejandro. You and I must have talked to two different people because this isn't the same one. Bro? No. Like it was a, it, it's an Iwata gun, but oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so this is crazy. This is exactly what I thought it was gonna be, was a spray gun, because a subscriber hit me up and he said that he is mailing a spray gun out, um, and he gave me the shipping information and stuff. Um, it, it was supposed to be there around today, right? But it wasn't, it wasn't a supernova that he was send, sending me. Long story short, it's a completely different gun than this. So I have another gun that's on the way as well, but Alejandro actually sent one. Which, and he wrote a uh, note in here from Alejandro to Deadbeat Garage. Enjoy, enjoy your guys' channel. Keep up the great work. DBG Strong. Um, and then there's his Instagram tag. Bro, this right here is a freaking dope-ass gun. Like, I don't, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I... Dude, hold up. Iwata Supernova. Yeah, bro. Look at that. That's not a cheap spray gun, bro. Holy freaking crap. How much does a spray gun cost, bro? How much? Well, the website I just pulled up right now, $930. No way. Yeah. That, that's why I'm like, is this really a supernova right now? Like, as I've heard of a supernova before. Like, it's one of the, it's like one of the leading guns right now in the automotive industry. Dude, that, there's no freaking way. This one right here is a 1.4 needle LS400 supernova. And it's 720 bucks. Like, either way, dude. Either way you look at it, this gun costs over $600, man. That is freaking wild. And it looks brand spanking new like it's never been used. Like, this, this is a completely different guy than what who you talked to. So, there, there's definitely another spray gun on its way, which is freaking wild, man. We're about here to have some a pretty dope-ass lineup of spray guns. This is what I'm clear coating your hood with, for sure. This is going to lay down so much better than that 1.8 I've been using. Definitely dope, Alejandro. Thank you so much. You and Mike, both of you guys, I appreciate you. Um, dude, this, I, I can't lie. This is one of my dream guns, man. This is legit one of my dream guns. So, um, huge shout out to you, Alejandro, for sending this out. I know that this, this isn't cheap, bro. So, I appreciate you, dude. I, I, I'm at a loss for words, if I'm being honest. I need to get a PPS adapter for it. <laughs> so, I can use my my 3M cups, but. Bro, that is still just as wet as it was when I put it on. Bro. Bro. It's not focusing. Hang on. Hang on. Jeez, look at you. Is that going on to IG or what? Of course. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna call the video there. This is a really quick one. Once again, just dicking around with this freaking hood, man. I gotta wait for this stuff to dry, so. Tomorrow we should finally be able to get this thing clear coated. I'm gonna get this edited and posted up for you guys and then get started on tomorrow's video because I need to get back to being ahead. I'm behind now. I hate working on same day videos, like recording same day as the day the video is supposed to go up. That That's just, that's where I'm at right now and that's why I'm behind. I like to be able to have a video up today and be recording for tomorrow's video. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm trying to get ahead. So that's the reason why there may be a few shorter videos and then we'll get back into a little bit longer videos and you know more content you know what i'm saying but 24 hours from now will be like five o'clock tomorrow evening so i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to do this in tomorrow's video so we might be cracking away on khaki just to let you guys know the big projects coming up is obviously getting the da done i need to get khaki up and going and there's a lot of work to do to khaki and a lot of spraying so I'm happy we have a new spray gun for sure. And I'm also wanting to get going on the Barnyard Find EF once again because it's just been sitting there doing nothing. And the EP3, bro. The EP3 needs to get torn apart. So that's all to come. Uh, more than likely, all of that's going to be this week. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us once again today. Peace out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later, Braven. Later. Nah, get up here, bro. I want to tell you that I'm proud of you for not being on your phone as much during this video. Oh, I'm actually posting something on my story right now. So. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Later.